Okay. Started. When? Go ahead. Okay. It, it started a long time ago with uh, the man that passed away, the one was at the funeral. Ray, he led me to And uh, it hit me hard. His death really hit me hard. And uh, like I said, he was not my uncle by blood. It was by marriage to this wonderful woman right here. <laughs> but, and I didn't know that one right over there, uh, Miss Barbara. But um, I have drifted from the Lord. And uh, I'm ashamed to say that, but I'm not ashamed. Because it happens to a lot of people, and it is still happening. Mm -hmm. The church has died. And like you said a while ago, we need to wake her up. Mm -hmm. We need to revive her. We was at the, at the funeral home, and Miss Barbara, that's what I've always called her. <laughs> Miss Barbara, you know, okay. or I could call her the Tupperware woman, what we used to call her. <laughs> <laughs> we used to call her the Tupperware woman, but I call her Miss Barbara. She came up to me and asked me how I'd been doing, and uh, I, don't, I don't think she was aware that I'd had neck surgery, back surgery. Yeah. Oh, I had all these other problems with diabetes and everything. She said, oh my goodness. It's like she went into her cell mode. Cell mode. <laughs> cell <page. laughs> you have to meet this person. You have to meet this person. Mm -hmm. Of course, she started talking to me about her husband. And I said, well, I got to meet the guy that was uh, lucky enough to catch you. <laughs> I said, I got to see this guy. You know, <laughs> you must have been born with the golden uh, horseshoe in his pocket. <laughs> but anyway, she introduced me and he told me about some of the problems mm -hmm. that he had had. Mm -hmm. okay. And then Barbara said, oh yeah, you need to meet the preacher. He healed uh, you know, my husband on this. I said, no. You know, I was like, you know, like I said, I had drifted from the Lord. So my skip, you know, the skeptical part of me said, you know, come on, come on, thank you. But, you know, I started feeling something. Yeah, I need to meet this guy. So... <laughs> We started walking around. Yeah, well, I was set up. Yeah, yeah, like any other con person, you know, any, you know, she's going to sell her product. You know, she's going to sell it. Whether it be Tupperware, whether it be anything, or it be the Holy Ghost. <laughs> she's going to sell it. <laughs> but uh, she said, would it be okay if we got my preacher to uh, pray for you? And I looked around and I said, I don't care. So she run around like a like a busy bee. I don't know her doing. And in the meantime, I had went up there and saw Uncle Ray and everything. And I felt, wow. Mm -hmm. I knew the presence of the Lord was there. Amen. I felt it just by looking at him because Ray and I had prayed for my daughter. We had laid on the church floor for 24 hours praying straight mm. for her medical condition. And Hallelujah. this is when I didn't I didn't get the results results from the prayer that I had wanted, and that's when my faith started wavering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as everybody, you know, he's a he works in his time, that's right. and I couldn't get through my thick skull. I've all, I'm sure my wife will tell you that I'm hard headed. No. I'm sure I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure Barbara <laughs> even tell you she knows me. She's going to <laughs> say, yeah, he's pretty hard headed. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been through quite a bit of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just couldn't figure out why he wouldn't do what I was asking. And Ray always told me, you know, I'm not making this up to be a testimony for Ray. But he, he, was, he was my rock. He was a lot of people's rock. Mm -hmm. He That's never true. let me stray too far. He always kept me. And his nickname was, for me was Dummy. He said, Dummy. That's what her dad used to call me. <laughs> he said, dummy, you know, God, he doesn't have, a, he doesn't work on our schedule. That's right. He works on his schedule. That's right. And guess what? That's true. Mm -hmm. Because when I met you, and you said that you wanted to pray for me, mm -hmm. you wanted to lay hands on me, and you wanted to heal me, and when you said that, this man back here, you, Robin yeah, mm -hmm. they was there. Mm -hmm. I felt the presence of Ray and the Holy Ghost. It was like the top of my head blowed off. Mm -hmm. It was like a lightning bolt. Like I feel it in me right now. Praise Jesus. God. Woo. 
Well, that's a good thing. He took your money away and gave you his. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. I said, I feel it right now. And it ain't no joke. That's I try right. to explain it to my wife, and I, I can't. It's like, like this man down here right now, he's still swimming in the glory. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you told me that you was going to do a complete overhaul. Mm -hmm. I yeah. felt like I was going, I was an old beat up car that they drove during into the shop. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it truly had to hit because I had so much wrong with my kidneys, mm -hmm. you know, back, neck. I got, I got four plates of steel in my back. May not two six inch things. rods in my back. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hardly move. My wife, she, she used to say, I don't know what we're going to do with you. I said, well, please just don't put me out to pasture. I walked into the funeral home with a cane. I attended that funeral, walked at least 150 yards out to the graveside, standing upright without a cane. Because this man, Hallelujah. this man and the Holy Ghost, yes, and yes, Prophet Victoria, Prophet Victoria, I can't even remember that, yes. laid hands on me, and with the Holy Ghost, Jesus. they made me whole. Jesus. The Holy Ghost made me whole. Amen. And they are recording right now. Watch this. Somebody with rods in their back. Mm -hmm. Less than a year ago. Well, it's been a little bit over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Woo! Even, I absolutely, I fell on my knees a couple weeks ago. I'd have cried like a baby. Uh. Even if the if the surgery had went perfect, should not be able to do that. Jesus. But God, but, but God <laughs> said, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Even if Thank the you. surgery had went perfect by human hands. Mm -hmm. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Hey, I should on. not be able to do you that because do that. of the steel rods yes. and, the, and the steel plates in my right. back. Look at my neck. Oh. oh. Woo. Come, Come on. on. Steel you in got my back. Come on. Amen. Nothing but God. Jesus. I give nothing praise to nobody but God. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's Amen. Right. Thank you. I wow. fell on my knees while I go and gave praise. Because if he can heal me, oh, Jesus. he can heal my body, and he Jesus. can cure me of the doubts. Come on. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. That's it right there. He can cure anybody. That's Jesus. what I tell my wife. I want her Jesus. to pray through to the Holy Ghost. Jesus. I said, he don't look the same. He don't feel the same to everybody. That's He's right. an on-time God. Yes. He will come to you in his time. Not your time. Jesus. Not my time. And not, the, not his time. Amen. Nobody. Your time. Oh, That's going out to everybody. Thank you, God. That's right. I can't come up here and command him to come to you. Jesus. He's going to come on his time. Jesus. He's not like a, he's not like an old freight train. He's not like a great hill bus. He's Jesus. coming on his time. Thank you, Father. He don't have any time. That's right. He's Kairos. That's no right. time. That's right. He's given us chronological time, which makes us criminals. Kairos, no time. That's why he can slow it down, speed it up, do whatever he wants. But go ahead. That is such a yeah. powerful testimony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing is, what are the things that you could not do? What you said, was this right, that you lived in pain every day? Every day since the day I had my surgery, your wife shaking her head. She knows. I was in pain because okay, a lot of people say, "Well, can't you take pain medicine?" Well, yes, I could, and I did, but I felt myself going to a dark place. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Yes. I felt myself saying, "I like these." Mm -hmm. If anybody know what knows what purpose at tens are, that's a good. That's a, 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 if you know what those are. Mm -hmm. I had it for me. I had hundreds of them. Still have hundreds of them. Still have prescription for hundreds of them. You can flush them down tomorrow. I have flushed them. All right. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just don't like them. I mean, I don't like the way they make me feel. Well, you don't need them. You know, some people say those are worth like $30 a piece on the street. If you're wanting to sell your drugs. Wow. I had hundreds of them. Wow. But I don't want or need them. I had to get my son. I used to have to get him to help me up whenever I needed to get up. I could not sleep in a bed because if the bed had the slightest slope in it, those metal rods in my back said, uh-uh, that don't work. I had to sleep in a recliner. Yeah. 
That was my life. Every day. Every day. Wow. I had to give my son, or my wife, somebody to help me get up. Speaking of son, what does your son think now that you can do what you do? Well, I, I got home, you. I said, I, I told him, I said, I call him DJ, or I call him Junior. <laughs> you know, our dad just called me, you know, just called you know, just messing yeah, around with your son, he's 15. Love him, I said, Yeah, that's right, I said, guess what? Jug hid or something like that. God healed me today, he said, no. Nah. Yeah, well, I thought you said, yeah, okay, he said, he's I said, yes, indeed. Me, so gotta be shown that's bro. right, he said, if he did, touch your toes. I said, you mean like this? Woo! I can imagine. And he looked at his Jesus. mama like this. <laughs> <laughs> his mom was just like, mom, did you see that? <laughs> he's just like, you know, like a German shepherd, turns his head, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's just been amazed ever since. And oh, I'm not, I'm not telling you this as a joke. This happened. This is real. Come on. People take me to the hospital, x-ray me. There's more metal in my back and neck than there is bone. May not be Jesus. nothing else. Whoa, I Jesus. have watched God remove rods out of knees and bodies. That so would be wonderful. I've yes. seen God give a, a man in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a brand, brand new, new spine. spine. That would be wonderful. <laughs> <I'm talking about laughs> brand new. Come on, everyone, let's give God the praise. Give God the praise.